excited to show you the milk pudding. This is like my first time eating milk pudding and I don't want to sound like other YouTubers that get like super excited over like everything we put in their mouths. I've had caramel flan before but it's not, it's like, like this is like a whole next level stuff. <laughs> it's super light and very smooth. It's like super easy to make. This is a very simple dessert with milk and eggs. And I think afterwards, I'm just gonna go make a double batch of this stuff. Start off by prepping your molds by buttering them. In a pot, add a half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of water. Heat this over the stove over medium heat, just leaving this completely alone until it goldens like this. Now for the scariest part of this process is Using a ladle with one tablespoon of hot water, pour it into your caramel. Gently swivel the pot around to incorporate the water. And if you're still alive, take the caramel and pour it into your molds. Tilt the molds around to even out the caramel. Work fast because it hardens pretty quickly. I use different molds for funsies. My caramel is so beautiful and shiny. In a pot, place a towel and fill it with water. We're going to cook our pudding in here. Make sure the water only fills up halfway of your mold. I'm just using it as a test. Heat this on medium low heat. In a bowl that's kind of heavy, add three eggs. We want to mix this together like in a way that we don't create too many bubbles so we don't lift the fork while stirring. Bubbles makes ugly puddings. In a pot, add the milk sugar and a vanilla stir this together heat this up until the sugar dissolves and stir while you do this taking the milk and in a steady stream pour it into the egg while stirring the entire time Spoon off any bubbles because bubbles are ugly. Strain this mixture in a pourable measuring cup so you could easily pour it later into your molds. Pour it into your molds evenly. Using a spoon again, remove any bubbles. Cover the top with aluminum foil. Reduce the heat of the pot to low and add in your ramekins. We don't want to cook this in the boiling temperature because that will only create bubbles that we do not want. Using some mittens, towels, or tongs, remove the molds. To check for doneness, remove the lid and shake it a little bit and if it jiggles, that means it's done. I'm ready to eat all of you now, but I need this to cool down and once it's cooled down, I could leave it in the fridge for like 3 hours or overnight before I could remove them from the molds. Using a knife, run it along the edges, give the molds a little wiggle and it should come out pretty easily. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Visit my social media sites down below. If you've done any of my recipes, please take a picture and send it to me on any social media site. You should really, 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 really try this recipe. Uh, and if you do, FedEx me some. <laughs> Watch my previous video. Uh, what was the previous video? The last thing I made was sesame seed ball. And here's a link to it there. Bye bye.